Hello, Wastelanders. It is I, Big Papa J, and welcome to my channel. For those who are new, this is a laid-back play style that I like to bring you guys along for the ride. I don't do official playthroughs. I don't showcase mods. I just relax, have fun, blow shit up, kill people when accessible, and just do this as an escape from reality. I'm an English teacher by trade, for those who don't know. So I do this to relax after a long day of teaching. Now, enough talking about me. Again, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If you are a repeat subscriber or visitor to my channel, welcome back. Today I start a new playthrough. And this time I'm playing a big twist. I'm playing Batman. I'll explain the outfit here in a second. Because this is a combination of two mods that gives me this look. But in my backstory, which you can find um, on the playlist on my YouTube channel. But in the backstory, Batman is retired. And he got married. And they had a son. And not shortly after that, he decided to hang up his cape, hang up his bat costume, and retire to become a family man. And then the Great War happened, and he was driven into the Vault 111 with his wife and son. He no longer lives in Gotham. He moved to Boston to get to escape. To escape, you start over like a new identity. Okay, so that's kind of the basic backstory. Now, why is Batman evil? If you look at the teaser that I released oh, about a week ago, leading up to this playthrough, I called him initially the Dark Paladin. But that didn't really set right with me. So I changed it for the playthrough to Batman... Dark Avenger. Why Dark Avenger? Because he is out for revenge. Not Avenger as in the superheroes, but Avenger as in blood. He's out for blood. He saw his wife murdered, his son kidnapped. And that is the whole reason he went into retirement in the first place. To remove them from harm's way and to become a family man. That has been ripped from his gasp, ripped from beneath him. And he is angry. He is mad. His moral compass is twisted, is corrupted. He doesn't see love for the world that he swore to protect, but hatred. And that is where our story begins. So welcome to Batman, Dark Avenger. Let's go talk to this girl here. In my show notes, you can find all the information you need about the playthrough, the order in which it recommends that we do stuff. There is a series of mods that I am running. They all play nicely with one another. They're all made by the same mod authors, so they should play. I also run Crime and Punishment and Gun for Hire, a few other mods of that nature. I also won, before I talk to Stella here real quick, I also won a alternate um, interface for perks and stuff. So, skills and traits and perks. Remnants of Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, the older versions of Fallout. Hello, Miss Stella. Well, hello. Hey there, can you help me? Depend. Depends on who's asking. Oh, me? My name's Stella. It's nice to meet you. What are you doing out here? I'm looking for help, silly. There's a bunch of ragers around the corner, so I'm staying here. Mm-hmm. What seems to be the problem? It's my friend Murphy. He went to the family store, but it's been a while, and I'm starting to worry. 
Can you check on him for me? Okay, I'll try to help. Really? Thank you. It's the big yellow building down the street. Can you bring Murphy back safely for me, please? Okay, Murphy's Law started. Now, I told you I'd talk about the Batman. The main outfit for Batman is Batman Beyond. So that is my main outfit. Um, you get the cow for the face and the bat suit itself. You do not get the cape. If you want the cape, then that's another mod called Nightmare Batman. And in the Nightmare Batman, you also get a cow or uh, the suit and the cape. And there's two versions. You can have the tactical or you can have the duster version. The duster version was the outfit that he wore in the movie Batman vs. Superman. He was having his nightmare. Um, but if you want the cape, it's in the tactical. All of these are available at the Kim station when you install the mod. I mix match them. So I've got Batman Beyond, which gives me that signature red evil look. The red eyes and the red belt buckle and the red bat. But then I run the cape from Batman, um, Nightmare Batman. So it kind of completes the look. So I really like it. Mods that I run for the most part can found, be found in the show notes as, as long as, or not as long as, as well as the page for the recommended mods and playthrough um, order that you should do things in. All that's in the show notes. So if you would like to check that out, feel free to do so. Okay, so we are going in. Hostiles are patrolling. What? I need to go into my kill tips. I got that on left. I'm going to change that to center. Now, it may not kick in until after I reload again. So, this particular playthrough may have it um, still in the left. But when I reload and load back in, it should fix it and put it in the center. Yeah, see, it's still, still on the left at the moment. But it will fix it. It will straighten itself out on the next load in. Inaccessible, okay. I forgot to do that. Forgot to do it. Anywho, it's no big deal. Just a cosmetic thing. Temporary. It'll just be for this opening. I don't need none of that stuff. I don't do drugs. One thing that you'll notice, my, my um, regulars know... You never see me doing drugs in the game. I don't do drugs in real life. I don't do drugs in the game. I do drink occasional alcohol because I do drink in real life, but I'm not a alcoholic. I'm just a social drinker. I'll have a beer if I'm out and about with friends and family. Um, I might have a glass of wine if I'm eating like Italian or a margarita if I'm eating Mexican, so just social, social drinks, a beer or two at the bar, if I'm out at a club, like a nightclub or something, but you'll never see me get wasted, I never get hammered. So in the game, yes, I will have a drink on an occasion, but it's just a light, I don't, again, not get drunk or anything of that nature. Okay, where do I need to go? I guess I need to go to this tournament over here. But I never do drugs. And I never do drugs in the game. I've I've got, what, 275? You know, several videos, and none of them have I ever done drugs. I never do jet or buff out or anything of that nature. I just don't want to put off that image. That's not who I am. Okay. I'm not going to be reading a lot of this stuff. I don't do Laurel like other YouTubers, there's too many YouTubers that do it. I'm here for the gameplay to relax, so 
I do what's, what's needs to be done. What's going on? Sounds of explosions. And I don't like to do all the other stuff. It's too time consuming. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, that is bad. I don't like fast travel. Coming in. That's um. I I've never liked fast travel, but I do do fast travel. That's something I've started doing in my last couple playthroughs. I've started initializing fast travel because. Again, for the sake of you guys, you guys don't want to see me walking around everywhere all the time. So yes, I have started utilizing fast travel, but it's not something I normally do. Get out of here! Be more. This audio that we're listening to was October 23rd, 2077. It's been the day the bombs dropped. The day the bombs dropped, October 23rd, 2077, requires a terminal. Keep turning out my light. I have my light set up so that it's a red color. Um, instead of the bright white or the green, I could set it up as green. That's what most YouTubers do. They leave it as green, but I like, I like the red color. So I have it set up for that. That's why my terminals, if you look at my terminal, my terminals are red as well. And they just knocked me out. It's lights out for Big Papa. So. Moving forward, I have to find my gear. I am in my tidy whities buck naked. I have my pit boy that they couldn't remove. Maybe they couldn't figure out how I could do it, but that is all I have. No, no other gear, just my pit boy. And a lot of gruesome bodies. These people are sickos. It goes in. Ooh, I want that grenade. Can I get it? Yes, I can. Frag grenade. Okay. I see a trip wire down here. Why did it pick up the whatever? I didn't want to pick that up. I wanted the trip wire. Oh well, anywho, it picked it up. No big deal. Nothing up in the mirror. Shut up. Big Papa does not like the monkeys. That looks like that may have been a hazard waiting to happen if I would have tripped that. Woo, I'm so glad I didn't. So glad I didn't trip that. Okay. What was that? I just heard somebody grunt. Somebody grunt. Huh. Something. I know it was something. Nobody's in here. I can hear them walking around. I can't see them, but I can. Need another bottle. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Shut up before you give me away. The lady, give me away. Her running her jaw, flapping her gums. You go to sleep too. I don't want you guys giving me away. There's somebody in here. I can hear them talking. The flesh parlor. Got a, somebody tied up naked over there. But just a shining. They're mooning me. I've been getting the shakes back. Shut up. Before you give me away. Nothing else to loot. Is there anything over here? Rule breakers will be shot or worse. Nothing else. Don't want to go over there. 
That lady stand sitting there chained up buck naked. I don't like that. It. It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mmm, they taste so amazing! And they'll make you remember everything you read. Quick, absorb that book! Of course, Mother! Sugar bombs are made with nutrients and stimulants. Stimulants and nutrients. Weaving taste and performance <laughs> in a potent breakfast cocktail that'll provide a... I wonder if... I can see the future! Sugar bombs may last up to 12 hours. After that, it's I said it's gets Buy two boxes and get a third half free until supplies... I would try to do a sneak attack, but I don't have a weapon, so it wouldn't let me. So fresh when it hits your stomach. I guess you gotta have a weapon to do a sneak attack. taste bolts of volcanic delight. Oh well, it is what it is. I got his, um... Pass... Ooh. I will pick up the stem. Stems I don't consider drugs. They're healing utensils, so... I do use stems because they're healing, but... Stuff that alters my reality, like jet and buff out and stuff like that. No, I don't do that stuff. Um, Nuka-Cola, that's caffeine. Um, of course, a good beer. Who doesn't like a good beer? So that stuff is cool, um, but the jet and uh, buff out stuff like that. No, medicine. Yes, that's a different. That's a different. A different category. <laughs> I can knock him clean the hell out. He didn't know what hit him. I tried to do a sneak stealth on him, but it didn't work. But that's okay. Got another flamer there. Definitely don't want to trigger that. Big Papa don't have any hair, but that's neither here nor there. Requires a terminal. And I hear somebody hitting some jet. I got me a druggy up in here. I can hear him hitting the jet. I don't know where he is. I can hear him. He's hitting the jet, but I can't see him. I don't know where he is. Thought he was coming up behind me for a second. It sounded like somebody was running up behind me. Shut up. Don't need you. Giving me away. Okay, let's look at this terminal, shall we? See if I can get that other door open. Remote door, open door. Oh, righty. So I have the, the key. Drop back down into sneak mode again. Another grenade. Another grenade. I like grenades. I didn't used to play grenades. I was never a grenade person in the past, but I am now. I like them now. So I, I do use them. I, like I said, I didn't before, but I do now. I've always been a melee player. I absolutely despise ranged weapons. But I do play ranged weapons, and I've actually been enjoying playing ranged weapons as of late. Up to speed, but, it's but my preferred. Okay. Let me rephrase. I don't necessarily despise rain weapons. Ah, that's progress. But my preferred 
method of play is um, melee. I will do ranged weapons. I've started doing ranged weapons a lot here recently. So I've, cha I've changed up my play style considerably. But I still prefer melee over range. Whenever feasible, whenever possible. You've thrilled to the Silver Shroud, shivered at the adventures of the single man, wondered at where Mr. Wallace's science would take progress tomorrow. Now, next week, an exciting new series begins, chronicling one man's journey into the mind of a communist. It's true. I've shrunk myself down with my atomic relay and managed to pass through space on a molecular level. Deep under the earth, I've built my fortress, an impregnable fortress that cannot be reached by normal means. I call it the university. While down there, the I university? I have planned, I have experimented, I implanted a control chip on the brains of each of my servants that allows them to pass through, as it were, to travel nice. between worlds. Guns and bullets. Okay, very cool. On their brains? Yes, yes, on their brains. I've learned so much about what it means to be a communist. A communist? You've learned what it means to be a communist? Next week on The Brain of Dr. Darius Lestardo. Yeah, I think that's it up here, right? I do believe so. I don't think I, there's anything. Okay, let's go back the other direction. So we are up above where I came in at. The slave pens or whatever they're called. Up ab no, that's the bathroom. Up above the slave pens. What the? Oh, crap. <laughs> Booyah! Taka. Hey. He almost got the drop on me. I wasn't paying attention. That guy. I can turn out my light. He almost got the drop on Big Papa. Another terminal. Another remote door. Keep opening these remote doors. I'm still trying to find my gear. Because I'm still running around in my bloody well, stealth boy. I doubt if I'll ever use it, but I'll pick it up. Still running around in my bloody underwear. My tidy whitey! Another stem pack. Like I said, I'll pick up the stem pack because they're. I consider them as medicine, so I'll pick them up. Uh, ooh, another stem pack. Drop back down again, back down into the sneak mode. Another terminal requires a terminal. This one doesn't. Two more bottle caps. Turn my light back on so I can see. Anything behind the door? No. Anything over in this desk? Seven more bottle caps, nine plasma cartridges. Ooh, a key. Felon's master key. That might come in handy. Another terminal. Eight more bottle caps. Nine more bottle caps. Four more bottle caps. More ammo. I use the ammo for um money. Requires terminal. I can't open that because I trade it. I trade the ammo as currency. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. Currency. My ammo of choice is 5.56. So I run 5.56 rounds through my um, safe control. Here we go. To my assault rifle. Now, I'm running two assault rifles, for those who don't know. Um, remote door control, let's open that. 
Um, I have a sniper rifle and my regular uh, um, assault rifle. And then I have my knuckles. Ooh, I'm gonna steal your bourbon. Yeah. Big Papa may take a shot of that here in a minute. Okay. Um, take. Yes. Is there no fast take off? No? Okay, fine. I'll get. Pick it up one by one. Okay, let's. Let's get dressed, shall we? Quit running around butt naked. Put on my cape. Okay. Put on my. My cow. Okay, put on my. And the red and wings, I'm not too worried about. They don't really do nothing for me. Anywho. Uh, let's go to weapons. Okay, my rifles. Um, this is my scoped one. And this is my regular one. Okay, my regular one goes right there. My scoped one goes in the other slot. And then, let me see. Fist weapon, my knuckles. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So, my Batman knuckles. And I, I got these set up because they look like a bat. And then my regular rifle, just my regular rifle, and then my scoped rifle that gives me my scope. That's my sniper rifle. Very good. Okay. And it looks like, like we are done in this area. Enjoy the ride. Dead end. Okay, well let's go up, shall we? Well, well. Aren't you the overachiever? I've been admiring your handiwork. We all have. You put on a good show. Maybe you're not useless after all. Our new friend surely has some questions. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. Name's Murphy. Head upstairs to the top floor. I've got a proposition for you. And don't worry. We'll play nice this time. Okay, find out what these assholes want. Yes, I do have some questions. I have some questions for that little girl called Stella. It says, save your game. Okay, I will. For Stella, and... I have questions for Murphy, because Stella sent me in here to find him. And this all turns out to be a ruse. A trap. So let's go ahead and hit save. Confirm. And with that, this is Big Papa J. And you are watching Batman Dark Avenger. When we return, I will make my way upstairs and find out what's going on and who Stella and Murphy really are. Also that lady that is, there seems like there's another lady there with Murphy, so let's find out about her as well. And with that, this is Big Papa J, hoping you have a good day or night, depending on what it is where you are. I'm out of here.